In name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, the one God, Amen. Today is Wednesday of the Holy Pascha, and the Church today tells us about two very different events. It tells us about the treachery of Judas Iscariot and his betrayal of the Lord. It also tells us about an act of love by a woman who came and anointed the head of the Lord. Judas Iscariot was one of the twelve who was counted among the disciples of the Lord, those who were nearest and dearest to him. He would have been a witness for many miracles of the Lord. He would have been present in all of the teachings of the Lord, and he would have seen the great power of the Lord. He would have been present when the Lord declared himself to be the promised Messiah, the anointed one of God. Then for some reason, he turned on the Lord, and he went and sought out the Jews, and he suggested a price for the Lord, and he arranged to betray him in the Garden of Gethsemane. We're not quite sure why Judas did this. Some say that he was lusting for money. Some say that he was perhaps disappointed in the Lord for some reason. Perhaps he thought he'd be king and wasn't going to become king. Perhaps he was trying to force the hand of the Lord, some people say. At the end of the day, we'll never really know why he did that, why he betrayed the Lord in such a way. But we know that this tells us something about human nature. When the love of material things, or when the love of our position, when our own passions take over us, we can do terrible things. As terrible as betraying those who love us, as terrible as betraying those closest to us, as terrible as even betraying the Lord God himself. Jesus saw many miracles and heard much, heard the most beautiful sermons from the mouth of God Almighty himself, and turned his back on all of those and betrayed him for 30 pieces of silver. On the other hand, we have a story of a woman. This woman came up behind the Lord while he was dining at the house of Simon the leper. And she had a very costly jar of ointment, perfume. And she broke it and poured it on the head of the Lord and anointed him. And those around mocked her. Some said, what a waste. Some said this could have been sold and the money given to the poor. But the Lord himself said, leave her alone. She's done a good thing for me. And wherever this gospel is read, it will be a memorial for her. This woman did something beautiful. I'd imagine that she was keeping this ointment for a very special day. Maybe for her wedding. Maybe for her daughter's wedding. Maybe it was a family heirloom from her mother or from her grandmother. Maybe her mother gave it to her as part of her glory box and said, on your wedding night, open this and pour it on yourself to honour your husband, so your husband will love you always. Maybe she was keeping for her daughter to give her the same advice. But when she saw the Lord Jesus Christ, her heart leapt with joy and with great love. And so she took the most precious thing that she had, the most wonderful thing that she had, this jar of ointment, and broke it and anointed the head of the Lord to show her love for him. On one side, we have a treacherous act by someone who was very close to the Lord. On the other side, we have an act of extravagant love by someone who loved the Lord and the Lord witnessed to her. And these are the breadth of human endeavors, the breadth of human emotions. So we have to ask ourselves, do we love the Lord and give the most precious thing to the Lord? Or have we slipped down so far that we can betray the Lord? Wednesday of the Holy Pascha gives us an opportunity to examine our hearts, to examine where we fit in the spectrum of human endeavors or human emotions. Can we betray or can we love? The answer is in how close we are to our God, how much we love him, how much we surrender to him, how much we shun evil and love good. If you love good, you will be like this woman and take your life, the most precious thing that you have, and hand it to the Lord. If, on the other hand, you love money, 
you love position, you love materialism, you love yourself, and then you might be in the camp of Judas. God forbid that that should be so.